Let's continue our quest to understand how electrons propagate in a material. We will perform the Hall experiment. Starting point of this experiment is a bulk of any conducting material. We then apply an electric field, let's say along the x direction. As a result, electrons will start moving. This is due to the Lorentz force. Because electrons are negatively charged, their velocity will point opposite to the electric field. Nevertheless, the current flows towards the positive x direction. This is a consequence of the sign convention of a current, as I am sure you are aware of. For this experiment, it is useful to imagine the current in terms of electrons that quasi-classically move in between atoms. This picture corresponds to the Drude model and is rather simplified. If the electric field is constant, it induces a direct current. In other words, it never changes its direction. The electric field is a small perturbation of the system. And a small perturbation can be treated within linear response theory. The basic assumption is that the current induced is linearly proportional to the applied electric field. The proportionality factor is called conductivity tensor, where mu and nu can in principle take on all directions x, y and z. However, in the Gedanken experiment before, we have already naturally inferred that the electric field in x direction induces a current in x direction. Hence, the off-diagonal component of the conductivity tensor are zero. The DC resistivity is defined as the inverse of the conductivity, parallel to the applied electric field. It is laid out to describe the resistance a current faces in a unit distance. Now, let us go one step further and apply a magnetic field perpendicular to the electric field. As we have seen, due to the electric field Ex, there is a current Jx. This means charge minus E moves with velocity minus Vx. The Lorentz force and maybe a little help of the right hand rule shows that electrons are now deflected to the negative y direction. A charge imbalance is building up and along with it an electric field pointing in negative y direction. This process continues until the accumulated electric field completely cancels the Lorentz force. The resulting Hall electric field is negative. Remarkably, it is only negative because the electrons, or our charge carriers, are negatively charged. So what would happen when we suppose a positive charge is moving? Well, it means that the electric field Ex causes holes of charge plus E to move with velocity plus Vx. The holes are also deflected to the negative y direction, but the charge imbalance that builds up has an opposite sign. That's pretty much it for today. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.